Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Season Salt and Clash bringing you here this next game to Game 2 of the HOC promo series between Team Fight, uh, Team Fight and World Alliance. World Alliance taking Game 1. Let's see if they have what it takes to stay in it. Take a look here at World Alliance's team. Actino playing Helm. Frostel being played by Moshi. Sugar Daddy playing Horse. Sia Tide Singer being played by MTS and Helino playing Midgrove. Moonlight Punch playing Helm. Oh, excuse me, for Team Fight. Helm is being played by Moonlight Punch. DHO playing Frost Zell. Sia being controlled by ZBSJZ. Cock playing Migrove. And Pantak <laughs> <laughs> playing Elf. I don't know what else to say. The guy's name is Cock. I mean. Yeah. Alright, so. One thing I'm going to tell you right now Adrian with Russell, all bad. To, to me, I, it's not being in dick mode or anything, but I think it's going to be a win. Fucking Adrian's Fossil is so OP. I've seen him trains multiple times. Oh. You've seen it. Oh, look at this. Trains. Z -bay, uh, ZB Bad getting team. caught out there. They're both going to be walking in each other's poison trails. Horse smart not to engage in that one. Let them just talk it out. Yeah, should They should have definitely banned Fossil. You should never let that hero go in Adrian Thames. Mm-hmm. All bad, dude. Especially against an elf? Mm, I don't think so. This team build right here that um, they're running out is, for all intensive purposes, snowball team. This is the team that can win you a game in 15 minutes. Looks like they're rotating up. Are we going to see a team fight now? We'll see. Look at that. Sugar Daddy needs to be careful. Nice job there. Moshi picking up first blood for World Alliance. Sia unable to back up her teammate there. I don't think they're going to follow up with that. They'll probably just clean out that jungle. Well, at least he got that red buff and didn't let MT Amazing get that red buff. Yeah. Oh, looks like they found somebody. Sia getting caught out there again. She's going to have to blink away from the stun. And now Frostel gets frozen. Horse comes in. He has to blink away. There goes a fireball. It's not going to be enough to take him down. It looks like he's going to be able to get away. And that is really with the chase. Oh, he does get him. Nice job there. MTS Amazing pulling out a kill. And now you can look at Helino receiving some harassment here on the bot side. So it looks like they chose to do a little bit of a lane swap. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you here, Pompey. Pompey. 2-0 right now. 1,000 gold lead. I wonder why they picked two caves where they have an elf and they also have a fossil. Like, is it they're just trying to figure out if one dies, they can still have another? Yeah, maybe they're trying to just have like a fallback plan, but Helm is not going to be able to do that. Helm and Sia cannot mitigate anything right now, so you build any sort of uh, attack damage armor, and you're basically removing two people now from your team fights. And slow and steady wins the race. Looks like Moshi's gonna spot see it coming through. I'm afraid of what's gonna happen of when Moshi starts getting crazy. <laughs> I mean, this could be an easy ah. a double digit game for him in kills. Oh, let's take a little bit of damage there. 
And it looks like Sugar Daddy's gonna find Sia. He's gonna silence her, he's gonna slow her, and it looks like she's gonna go down. There was really nothing she could do there. Another kill going over to World Alliance. And who shall I target? What does Helm need to go with right now? What does um excuse me, what does Moonlight Punch need to do? in order to keep his team in it because right now it's going to be up to him to make some of these plays happen oh i it, hey i i would personally i would possibly probably just build the hades preferably if if i wouldn't build the hades i'll probably build maybe uh dragons so you think that Possibly. he should just build but against the? Uh... Just because I, I would go hate just because. I oh, really nice trap there! Possibly. Looks like they're gonna be able to get a Ooh. kill on this top side. Good job, Sugar Daddy, coming away with that kill. Very nice. As I would you were definitely saying. go hate just because of Adrian. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's me the one engaging, and Adrian's the one chipping at him. Oh, oh Moshi there, so. getting caught out there. Nice. Gets that taken out. Nice. Good job there by it. Pantac. <laughs> So I will build a hates just because I'll have that CD, I'll mm. have that extra health, and I'll also have that defense. Talent plus destroyed. the whole the whole passive that it has on it against Fossil. Yeah. Just cool. And then from there just just build tanky as you can and try to keep that HP. Keep that HP up. Well he's really focusing on getting the farm. He hasn't really been with his team much. But the problem is you can't split push with him as easy as let's say split pushing with the Jambra. Just doesn't have that consistent wave clear. So at some point he's gonna have to consider grouping up. He's gonna be level six shortly. Oh she in a little bit of trouble is gonna get dove underneath his own tower and that was, nice teleport. That was Very greedy. Move. So greedy there by Cock. I didn't understand that. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, oh, Moshi getting wrecked. Oh boy. Gotta be careful. He's two and two now. Pantac. Two and one. So right now in the ADC war, he is winning the battle. And it looks like they're just offering up Frostel to the gods. I think uh, Frostel might be the uh, tactical feed here. And Sugar Daddy is a little low on health. Oh no! That blink going all in there. Gotta be careful, Elf. If she gets a stun, Helm does take out Sia. And it oh, looks like the that was Oh, that was so lucky. Sugar Daddy goes down. 6 to 3 is the score right now. And the crazy thing is, they have the other fossils just mm -hmm. doing what he can on top. Getting farm. So just hanging out. Looks like uh, Pantac is going to have to give up this tower. Moshi has caught up. And finally Pantac gets taken down. So if he could have just moved a little further back, he would have been all right. But lo and behold, Dragon is now going to be secured by WA. 8-12 on the clock. 7-3 is the score. 4,000 gold lead right now for World Alliance team fight. Doing what they can to stay in it. The match is far I don't from think over. They should, try to, they should definitely not contest that dragon. I think what they should have done they should have went to the bottom, to the bottom lane and kind of pushed that tower, knowing yeah. that they're gonna get that dragon. It buys you a couple. At least send just two people down there. Oh Preferably my, my group. Nice job to draw out the. Nice job. The bait is real. Pantac is going to take down Helm. Sugar Daddy is going to take down Frostel. Migrove takes down Sugar Daddy. See it taking a kill up on Pantac. And Moshi is going to come right back in oh. it. But he's going down Ripperoni. And you gave that kill to Helm who is farming. Who has been spending so much time farming. 
Does the teleport come in time? Yes, it does. But unfortunately, it's not going to be enough as MTS Amazing is going to secure the kill there. Oh, can he get a kill before he goes Ooh. down? Let's go. MTS Amazing goes down. Nice revenge there. DHO coming in with the support. And the worst thing that could have happened right now is giving any money to Helm. You like if they can just keep Moonlight Punch under farmed. Cause he's if if they're playing like this right now and the game is this close, the tankier he gets is gonna just mean world's a problem here. The team right now it looks like yeah, team on. fight is pulling this team synergy together. Even though they're still losing right now in terms of kills, something's starting to come together for him. Oh yeah, the tankier you build him, the the harder you're gonna kill him because he's just gonna stay in there the mm -hmm. whole time. Just punking and punking and either slowing stun, the ulti, something. Oh boy, yeah. looks like Pantac gonna have to get out. Oh, but sits right on a ward. Oh, nice job getting out just in time before Helm walked in. The accelerated. <laughs> the funny thing is, Adrian was looking for him the whole time. Yeah, yeah, I saw him. He was. <laughs> I hate that. Like when when you're about to kill an elf and she just ulties and you're like, damn it, damn mm -hmm. it! All I need was one hit, and then you just go hunting for her, and like you spend like ten seconds or like twenty seconds of just looking for her, and everybody's just hunting for her. And yeah, it stops like, the whole thing. Stops the whole progress. <laughs> yeah. It's just it's looks just like World Alliance off. is starting to eye the Yuha buff. But lo and behold, oh somebody Almost gets caught out of position. Okay. That's not what you want. That fossil. Does look like Migro uh, Helino gets taken out here, so it's a one for one trade. So right now Yuha is not gonna be the subject of any attention. I don't think it's gonna be a good idea. You can see uh Wei going back to base up. Oh, looks like a cancel, never mind, they're gonna stay there. Wing, come on Discord. I'll bring you in as a guest. Now I need a target. No wings in chat talking. Yeah. You can come listen oh, in on the chachi? shoutcast. Yeah. My chachi. I'm gonna get everybody calling him chachi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's my chat. Twelve minutes in. And there's a lot of attention being paid over here in Yuha's pit. And it looks like Wade's going in. Oh boy, everybody's going all over the place. Nice job there. Looks like uh, this team fight is all over the place. Who's nice. going to be the first to go down? Three Ooh. members of Way go down, and team fight walks away the victor. I said that this shouldn't have been a. Uh, it shouldn't have been an object of contention here. That they should have been going for Yuha, but. Moshi looks like he is going to pick up a kill there. Sia does go down. Welcome, Wing. Good to see you here. Hello. Just be mindful of your mic and the crunchy noise that it makes. Okay. What's up, Chachi? We've got another up, special Chachi? guest here. Winged from yeah, World and Peace. Hanging out with us here. AKA Clash. the Chachi. As we're here, 13, 24, 14, 11 right now. World Alliance having a lot of trouble here. Establishing a true foothold in this match. It is close. They are ahead. They only ahead by 2,000. Yeah. Ooh. I oh, I premature on ultimate. MTS wow. Amazing just blew his load right there. <laughs> and so, he stood there too. And he just like, probably shook his head like, did I need Yeah, that happened. And it's on camera. Everybody's going to see that one. <laughs> that will be the replay. <laughs> that was what made that was that was a game winning stun. <laughs> so now Sia doesn't have ultimate. Oh my God.
good thing we'll keep that as a secret. So if you if you're looking at the map, look at my grove on that bottom. Helino is this farming at the moment, yeah. which is oh boy, I, and I has sure the attention here. Pantac, like that. there it goes. Ooh. Caught underneath. Wow, one thousand seven hundred and seven damage. Two he shots. He went straight for the. He literally went straight for the KK. Nice. There you go. There what time are you guys on? What, 1443? 43? 43? 1446. 46, I'm at 50, I'm gonna stop at 51. 50 now, go, go. Nice job there, looks like. Moshi could not get the kill. And Migrove hits all of World Alliance with that ultimate helm in a lot of trouble. He needs to get out of there in a hurry. Now all of a sudden, Team fight are the ones in the lead. Sneaking a tower there on that bot lane. And just as I said, we'll take a look at Helm. Look at that. I, I'm I'm look at look at this elf. I really think Pantech is doing really, really good right now. I think he He he's he's all over the place and I, I like that. He's they're they're sitting there too busy worrying about mid lane and you have Pantech over there just farming, taking out the towers and He's the one mainly split pushing. Mm -hmm. Something that something that Wing, aka the Chachi, always talks about. He loves the split push. Well also, uh, <laughs> to Helm's credit here, a Hades armors is spotted. Moonlight is gonna be making all the difference now, as all he has to do is just target Moshi and let his team do the rest behind. You could disrupt Moshi. There we go. Going in. See, uh, uh, amazing with the ultimate. Everybody's charging in. Sugar Daddy. It's going back and forth. And right now, World Alliance do lose Sia. They do lose Gorvis. They do lose Helm. And Team Fight right now mopping it up. They no longer have Helm. Halino trying to do something here. It's another one for one here. Moshi taking a lot of. Excuse me, doing a lot of damage, rather. And Sia coming in to help his teammate. Moshi looks like he might be the one to get the kill there. And a small victory for World Alliance. But look at that. Pantak coming right in it. Nice job with the revenge kill. Killing Moshi is everything in this game. You have to keep him down. He is 9, 4, and 5. And Elf is not too far behind. Pantak 8, 4, and 5. Moshi 9, 4, and 5. So... And you can see now Moshi What's contemplating cool? getting the uh, Hades uh, uh, King Killer. As you were saying, Wing, what's up? Um, Moshi actually is my sensei, which means um, he's the one who teach me how to improve. Because I used to be better with him. He taught me how to 1v1, and mm -hmm. that's how I got better because of him. Well, right now he's sitting in the graveyard. So Sensei needs to get his ass back in the game. <laughs> Elm is there by himself. To be honest. And this is a very dangerous match here. This I is like you that it's, it's an actual good game. Like it's yeah, not yeah, it's one really of those good. games gonna be blown out. Like it's crazy. They're you have team fight that's actually down in kills but up in gold and then you have the two you have the two towers on each side down and then you also have nice job here looks it's... like they're gonna catch sugar daddy off guard he's gonna Ooh. go down moshi's not gonna be able to do anything uh what were you saying what wing time are you guys on 1825 1826 what time are you guys on? okay i tried to catch up And I think uh, now Helm is working towards the Stirring Souls. Tower destroyed. Oh, like another tower going in favor of Wei. No. So it looks like they might be resorting to a split push here. 
Oh, never mind. Looks like they're focusing hard on this bot side. And needs to be careful. See ya. In Moshi's sights. And that's, yep, that's it for Sia. She's not going to make it out. She gets stunned. Fireball. Hit with the Frostbolt. Throws her ultimate down. Moshi does pick up a kill. And Teamfight getting caught out of position here. Looks like they're going to pay the price. Helm cannot take that much damage. Does blink away. Migrove coming in. Heal being popped. And now Teamfight are ready to try to take something of it. Helm needs to be careful. He's only half health here. And now he's going to get countercharged. It looks like Moshi's going to be able to finish him off with the fireball. So two kills going over the way. Elf popping her ultimate to disengage. She's going to go Ooh. down. And Wei are just picking apart Teamfight here. And this is, is going to cost them the tower. Kill streak. We're at 2011, 2012, 2013 for wing. I'm at 14. Okay. Now, this is the thing on the other side in team fight. I don't know why he's building that right at the moment, but he should be trying to crit because this is the thing. With Frostal, Chris, crit is so key because naturally he has a really good rate in crit. And the the one thing Adrian always told me is that you gotta you gotta focus on that crit with Frost because that's where he does most of his damage. And having just that King's Killer alone with maxing out your third skill is what's gonna scale you so big. It's like it gets to the point where sometimes you're just you're literally just hitting him. Oh boy, sugar daddy! Dead. A little low there in the U hop pit. They're gonna have to stop the engage completely and consider it to having to move on to this team fight. This is not good. Why? Don't get away from Yuha. MTS now. Now where's the first fight gonna go? It looks like they split the entire team up. Moshi picks up a kill, takes out Pantak in like two hits. And now another you, good man. fight here for World Alliance. Look at that. Look how fast Yuha did. Yeah, Yuha was just disintegrated. He was that was it. And there goes a the charge in. Looks like they're gonna start cleaning up. Moshi gets another kill. Migrove going down and it's going from bad to worse right now. Sugar Daddy taking out Sia. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a fatal blow to the team fight agenda. They're charging after Helm here. This is a little silly here. They're going for Moonlight. Moonlight is just buying time for his team. At this fight, at, at this game right now, I'm blaming Team Fight's Fossil. DHO is building Fossil back. And he's, he's doing nothing. It's, it's, it's a bad build. I don't know what he was thinking. Oh, nice. It was Elf. Elf's not going to hold it again. Frostle, there's no way. Well, 30 to 19 now. Way knocking on the door. Take a look here. Moshi, 15, 4, and 9. 2250 on the clock, 2251. And I'm not sure that Team Fight could do anything right here that's going to get them a complete comeback. Pantak now, considering having to dive here, gets a stun on Sia, but it doesn't really mean much. Look how much damage Moshi does. One, two, three, four, five. Five shots. Almost takes down Sia. I'm about to see this tower go down really fast. Okay, you guys is reach timer. And ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it. Oh. And that uh, is... I World Alliance reached the timer. <laughs> World Alliance <laughs> taking game two.